Hey guys, it's Emily and Sarah from the Keto Twins, and today we thought we would do a what we eat in a day on our ketogenic lifestyle type of video for all of you. So I came over here to do a little bit of brainstorming, we're going to be doing a little bit of filming, and we're going to be drinking coffee and eating. So we figure, why not show you guys some of the meals that we eat on uh, our ketogenic lifestyle. This summer I've been really into growing my own vegetables, including lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and we have some really great produce to cook with today. And um, I'm going to be using a steak from ButcherBox on top of a salad with a homemade dressing that I absolutely love. I don't think you've tried it yet. No, I haven't. Um, it's a balsamic mustard vinaigrette, and it's really, really good. And then later on, what are you going to be making? Well, we're, we're both going to be making. We're going to be making chopples because I haven't had a chopple sandwich in a long time, and my husband absolutely loves chopples. So we're going to do like a play on a chicken pomodori because um, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love corner bakery. So we're going to make a chicken pomodori chopple for you guys, and we've never made it before, but it looks pretty good. So hopefully it will be something to put into our little chopple recipe. Guide. Guide. That we, doesn't exist that yet. doesn't exist. Do you guys want one? If so, let us know. <laughs> we'll come up Chapel with... Chapel playlist, if you will. Chapel extravaganza. Yeah. Before we get started cooking, we're actually going to do a little brainstorming session, Emily and I, where we go over some topics that we're going to be talking about in a video later on today and hopefully plan out the next couple of videos that we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. So okay. coffee first. But coffee. Always but coffee. No, but wait, first but, coffee. No, but first coffee. I say everything backwards. But first coffee. coffee. So now I'm going to show you how to make a steak salad with a creamy balsamic mustard vinaigrette. I have my steaks here. These are uh, grass-fed beef flat iron steaks from ButcherBox, and I've had these defrosting. Uh, ButcherBox is a humanely raised organic meat subscription that comes to my house every month. The way that I like to cook steak is by cooking it in the oven uh, at 275 degrees for about 12 minutes or so and finishing it in a pan. I also like to use some coffee on my steak. Have you ever tried that, Sarah? No. Coffee ground? I put a little bit of coffee on the steak, uh, salt, pepper, but I'll show you how I do that. And turning on the oven to 275 degrees, and um, in the meantime, we're gonna go out and we're gonna pick us some veg. So we're gonna get, get some lettuce um, and some cucumbers. Next up is cucumber. You have some fine looking cukes here, Sarah. Yikes. Wow, look at that beaut. Our dahlias are starting to bloom. Aren't they beautiful? I think this is called Eveline. All right, so we're gonna use this caribou coffee ground. We're gonna lightly uh, coat the steak in it to create a crust that makes for good frying. But first of all, I'm gonna salt and pepper the steaks. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of coffee. You won't really be able to taste this. It just makes it really good for when I heat this up in the pan. These steaks are gonna mainly cook in the oven so I'm gonna put them on a rack and into the oven for about 12 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to prep our vegetables. We've got some beautiful heirloom tomato. We've got red onion. I grew these, they're awesome. Uh, we have some cucumbers from the garden and we also have this lettuce. So I'm going to be preparing all the veg. So this recipe is very simple. I'm going to just mix together the ingredients in a bowl. All right, I'm gonna do four tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna do one um, tablespoon of stone ground mustard. This could also be made to taste whatever you like. One tablespoon of Dijon. So you're gonna have two types of mustard, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna do a teaspoon of Swerve brown sugar replacement, which we can link below if you've never tried it. It really does taste just like brown sugar. 
and salt and pepper to taste. You could just have it like this, but I like to add mayo. So I add two tablespoons of mayo. I'm just gonna whisk this together. Maybe do a little taste. Hey guys, like video editing Sarah here. I just realized that Emily's microphone just cut out randomly because her battery was low. So I'm just going to do a voiceover really quick. She took the steaks out of the oven and now she's going to pan sear them on both sides. It's not going to take very long because she did heat these up in the oven. So they're pretty much cooked. We just need to get a nice sear. Um, she's going to flip them and make sure she gets those sides nice and cooked. And then we did go ahead and rest the steak before cutting it up. We're going to slice it pretty thinly um, so that it can go on the top of our salad. You really want to make sure that you rest your steak. Otherwise, you're going to have juices running out and it could turn out pretty dry. So Emily put together some cucumbers, red onion, and some tomatoes diced up on top of the freshly picked lettuce. And she's going to put the steak on there. And now she's just telling you how much she loves dressing, like any ketoer. I love my dressing as well. And she's going to drizzle this dressing on there for like a really long time, like 20 minutes. I don't know. All right, Emily is trying her steak and she's loving it. Nom, nom, nom. My name is Emily and I think I make really good steak. And it was actually really good. I did enjoy this meal. So there you have it. Steak salad. It's a pretty quick and easy meal and it's really tasty. You could have this for lunch or dinner. And we always have a pot of coffee brewing. We drink our coffee black, especially when we are trying to really watch what we're eating to lose weight. I mean, you could probably add like some of that sugar-free stuff, but we find that um, if we cut out all that kind of stuff, it really helps with weight loss. We are the Keto Quiz. We've lost over 160 pounds calorie in Keto Genic Lifestyle. And on our channel, we talk about all things Keto. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So we just finished up filming for today, and now I'm going to prepare dinner which is going to be a chicken pomodori chaffle sandwich. So we've made a bunch of different chaffle recipes in the past, but if you want a link to our basic chaffle recipe, you can click on the link at the end of this video. So here I have my elements for my chaffle. Um, we're just laying them out. I have um, some chicken that I roasted in the oven, chicken breast. I also have um, the chaffles that are here that are even starting to melt because of the heat of the oven. I also have the pesto mayo that's here that we're gonna put on top. Um, provolone cheese, some red onion, and some basil that I've washed. Before we started keto, Emily and I would go to Corner Bakery and we would have this chicken pomodori sandwich with a, like a Caesar salad and chips or whatever, you know, a drink on the side, a coffee drink with sugar in it, all that sorts of stuff. But we really miss the sandwich, so I'm hoping that this will actually turn out to be really good and will fill that void, if you will. So we're just gonna start assembling our chaffle. We're gonna go down with a chaffle, some pesto, mayonnaise. We're gonna go in with some fresh basil, some of the roasted tomato from Emily's garden. Some of the roasted chicken that the dogs are really wanting right now. I'll probably put some more on there. Some red onion. We're gonna drizzle more pesto on the top. And we're gonna top it with our chaffle that has the provolone cheese on it. And there you have it, a chicken pomodori chaffle inspired by Corner Bakery. Gonna take a bite out of it. I love trying things on camera. It's my favorite thing to do, so. I'm a solitary eater, usually. I eat by myself. So I'll, I'll just take a little bite. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Boy, 
through all of them are fair. Not from. I really love the basil with the mayo. I, I've never had that in a sandwich. I think that would go really well in a lot of different applications. And truffle is always a winner. If you haven't tried truffles, you need to try them today. They're the perfect bread replacement. So thanks so much for following us around while we were filming today. And I hope you enjoyed seeing what we eat in a day on our ketogenic lifestyle. Emily is behind the camera, but if you guys want to check out our basic chapel ultimate guide, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. I'm Sarah from the Keto Twins, signing out.